the FIFA Family Feud. Today's contestants are a pair of brothers from Argentina. On the left, we've got Fernando Higuain. Actually, my name is Federico. Fernando, you play for the Columbus Crew, correct? Yes, that's right. I. And on the other side, if you haven't seen him play for Real Madrid or Juventus, you've probably seen him at the McDonald's drive-thru. <laughs> And welcome to FIFA Family Feud, episode number two of the FIFA series, where we go through all of FIFA, try to find as many of the family partnerships as we can, and see which one comes out on top, which one comes out at number one on a league-style table. Now, in episode number one, we did the ultimate screen boosted Bender Brothers. They came out with a total of 14 points. Again, we get three points for a win, two goals, uh, two points for a goal and then a point for an assist. And at the end of that, we turn that into a point total and then put that on the leaderboard. But like I said, the, Bunder, uh, the Bender brothers were pretty decent in episode number one, but I have a feeling that we're gonna be able to take off a little bit more in episode number two. Now, this one was a popular- <laughs> That is not correct. The Iguain episode was one of the most requested because Iguain is a channel favorite and he does have himself a brother who plays in the MLS for the Columbus crew. As a matter of fact, uh, one of my subscribers sent me this about a year and a half ago to the PO Box, uh, this MLS, I think it was a Columbus crew. Um, I think he's actually from here and it does in fact have Federico Iguain's uh, uh, face on here and I actually use it to store some of my uh, markers and other tools for episodes and such. But anyway boys, Federico Iguain, 77 games played, 29 goals for Nueva Chicago in the Argentinian League, I believe the second Argentinian League, the same club that his father, El Pipa Iguain, both uh, uh, obviously Federico and Gonzalo's father, he was a professional footballer for Nueva Chicago in the Argentinian League, um, nickname was El Pipa, and believe it or not, interesting little thing I didn't know about Gonzalo and Federico, they actually both hold French citizens because their dad actually played in France uh, in the second league, I believe, in the seven, late 70s, uh, mid 80s. So they actually both have French citizenship as well. So that is Federico Iguain, as you guys can see here. His FIFA card is not great. We've slapped the Hunter Chem style, so it boosts his pace and his shooting. Does have the four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, just like uh, Gonzalo, uh, his, uh, his brother, has as well. 600 coins versus 67,000 coins for a 90 rated striker. You could do actually a whole lot worse. 67,000 at this stage in FIFA is not that much for a 90 rated striker with some of the stats that he had. But like I said, same weak, start, uh, same weak foot, same skill moves, but has obviously some pretty insane stats. 91 finishing, 88 shot power, 82 long shots, as well as 85 strength. And if you compare that to Federico, not actually an embarrassing uh, uh, drop down. Obviously 59 strength is a lot less than his brother, but he does have 72 finishing, 75 shot power, 79 long shots, and a decent bit of passing stats as well. Now, if you're doing an episode on the Iguain brothers for FIFA Family Feud, you have to put together a full Argentinian side. This is probably one of the only times you're not gonna see a messy list Argentinian squad, and that is because we are focusing strictly on the two brothers up top. We've got Papu Gomez, we've got Lanzini, uh, we've got ourselves Perez, and then possibly one of the most underrated informs this year, this guy Belushi. He's got himself 88, long sh uh, 88 shot power, 85 long shots, um, 75 strength, look at the passing stats, look at the dribbling stats, 83 dribbling, and uh, just looks like a very, very well-balanced card. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. We're going with Zanetti, the first icon that we're gonna be using uh, in FIFA Family Feud. We've got Abraham, we've got Rojo, we've got Gomez, and then we've got the board troll um, uh, Ruli in net. But this is gonna be the squad, boys. If you guys are hyped for FIFA Family Feud episode number two, smash that like button. Let's try and crush 4,000 likes for this episode two of FIFA Family Feud. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And the question of the episode, yeah, which of the brothers do you think is gonna score more goals across the three matches? And also, spam letting me know some other uh, brothers or cousins, whatever that you guys would like to see in episode number three. The top comment is the one that I will do, but uh, let's not delay things any further. Let's get into match number one. Let's see who of Gonzalo or Frederico is gonna get more goals. More importantly, let's see if they can work together and beat the Bender brothers and top that 14 points. Match number one, boys, we're coming up against player of the month, uh, Leroy Sané. He's got Lacazette. He's got the 82 Granitxaka as well as Mkhitaryan. <sighs> Gonzalo and Federico, bro. Put your... Gonzalo and Federico, bro. Put your brotherly differences aside and let's freaking ball out. Gonzalo! Come on, Gonzalo Higuain! That is what a 90 rated card does. Eight minutes in and we already are, uh, we're already up 1-0. Uh, if the point stand it is, that means, that means three points for the win, two points for the goal with Gonzalo, and we would be up to five points already. 
in this uh, in this first match, boys. Come on. Even with the Hunter Kemma style, bro, is chugging. <laughs> Federico doing a traditional Argentinian dance inside the box. Parte il capitano. Il tiro a Really, you couldn't get to that dude? Higuain, the limit of the Higuain, try to destro! Porto Pedro in Napoli, Gonzalo Higuain! Come on, boys, and that's going to call for a brotherly hug. Come on! Someone was just performing an exorcism on Gonzalo Higuain on the pitch. Boys, at halftime, we have ourselves two goals with Gonzalo Higuain. Uh, we are currently slated, I believe, hold on, yeah, uh, Gonzalo has both the goals, so that is four. If we get the win, that would be three, so that would be seven points. I'm not sure if we have an assist yet with Federico, but uh, if there's one thing that I'm noticing, and I think it was probably the obvious thing right off the bat, is that 66 pace, even boosted with a Hunter Chem style, is a really, really, uh, is a really, really crippling stat for Federico. Um, also doesn't, obviously doesn't have the greatest finishing in 72, but let's, uh... Frank, you froze my phone with your sausage greasy fingers! How empty a net do you need it to be? Federico! Bro! That's two! It should be 4-2 right now! I mean, I know 72 finishing, but you're right there in front of the net! Huh? Somehow we have to take this one to extra time. Now I know it says we only have four shots on target. I think Federico missed both, so that I guess they don't technically count as a shot on target because it wasn't uh, it wasn't saved. But Federico, and then maybe more importantly, Gonzalo, with the 80, uh, sorry, with the 91 finishing, is not able to put it through. Gonzalo! 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 I'm not gonna blame the Higuain brothers, I'm blaming myself for throwing that match away with lazy keeper clearances. I don't know what I was thinking when I pressed A. I legitimately don't know what I did, what I was thinking when I pressed A. So we get two goals with Gonzalo Higuain, we get an assist with uh, uh, Federico Higuain, which I didn't know we actually got, so we lose the match, but we get two goals with Gonzalo, which brings us up to four points, and then we get a point for an assist with Federico. So we're up to five points in match number one. We lose 4-2. And just honestly really, really embarrassed with the way that I played that match. Yes, Federico and bo both Federico and Gonzalo let me down in that one. But uh, more than anything, I think I probably, I, I think I let myself down by just being an absolute idiot with that goal line, with that, uh, with that keeper clearance. Let's get to match number two. This is, a, this has to be the one where we clear, we're going to clear 14 points within the first half of this next match. Match number two, and wouldn't you know it, we're coming up against one of the Bender brothers. He's got Ribery, he's got Schnellerabi, and he's got Tiago, uh, he's got Tiago as a center forward. Now this guy's name is Dirty Talk. There's no, there's no chance this is James. Pretty, no, there, there's no way this is James. So I worked out, I worked out my chest yesterday and my pecs are absolutely killing me right now. I'll tell you who's killing me more though, Federico and Gonzalo Higuain were absolutely dominating this match, 52% possession, this guy hasn't had a shot on target.
Wow, Federico is so, I, I don't want to say he's bad, but like, yeah, that's a tough ask. You, you know what, I, I take that back, that was a tough ask. Let's go! Gonzalo, one nil in the 85th minute. Come on. Oh, there is elation. Does no one want to celebrate with him? Come on, bro. The piglet scores. And dude, GG Buffon is in the stands. We get a one nil victory and we are up to, I believe, 10 points with the Iguain brothers. Match number three, he's got himself Mario Gomez. We are in the third and final match. We need four points for the Iguain brothers collectively to surpass the Bender brothers. I didn't think it was gonna be this difficult, but it's come down to the last match. It's not done. And yet, the night has come. Okay, so that is one nil. That's two goals. Uh, that's two points for the goal and then three points if we hold on to the win We would have five points which would put us ahead of the Bender brothers would give us 15 points uh, on the epi We need to hold on to the lead, but with only 12 minutes in I feel like we could do some serious Iguain brother van damage right now Composure is a huge stat, and any time a defender is around Gonzalo Higuain, it doesn't matter. If you have high composure, it doesn't matter if the guy's in your face, if you have two guys right there, he's gonna put it through. And that's exactly what he did for me early on in the game. One of the first strikers uh, I used as a lone player. And already, we're at, uh, we're at 14 points with just the goals alone, plus three, 17, that's quick math. I mean, are we getting a range quit here? He's averaging a goal every 10 minutes right now, and we are up to 16, we're up to 19 points with the three goals and the, I'm assuming the victory, but 12, 24, and 32. Gonzalo Higuain, upset about the way we lost the first match, uh, fueled by the rivalry he has with his brother on the pitch right now. Federico, let's, it should be noted, doesn't have himself a goal in three matches, well, two and a half matches played so far. Federico, where are you, bro? At halftime, we're up 3-0. Uh, Gonzalo Higuain living up to his reputation. I think it just took a couple matches to get used to the squad. Um, again, that is another thing to consider. Every time we go into a match with these new squads, it's the first time we're ever playing with them. So it takes a little, there's an adjustment period. Sometimes it clicks, sometimes it takes a little bit of time. But uh, Gonzalo Higuain has finally found his form up to a hat trick. Looks like we have this in the bag. Looks like we're going to be able to top the Bender Brothers despite a, uh, uh, a barring a crazy, crazy collapse. I don't know how we would actually lose it at this point. And Gonzalo Higuain threw on net, and he is not going to make it. The pallone per Higuain al limite. Higuain! So that's four goals, which is eight points from ten. Like I said, eighteen plus three for the win would be uh, twenty-one. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. I can't wait. Dude. Wait, did I concede? Oh man. Note to self, don't go to the bathroom in the middle of a freaking episode of FIFA Family Feud. It's gonna be tough to beat, 5-2 victory and every goal from Gonz uh, Gonzalo Higuain. We're up to, I believe, 23 points right now, boys. And there you have it, boys, match number three and episode number two of FIFA Family Feud has wrapped up. We are currently sitting on 23 points with the uh, Iguain brothers, assuming that Frederico doesn't have an assist. We're at 28 points right now with the uh, with the Iguain brothers. I had no idea. I didn't even register the fact that he could even get that many assists. 17 shots, 10 on target. Literally half of our shots on target went in on goal due to the incredible finishing power of Gonzalo Iguain. Federico um, managed to get himself five assists in that last match. So like I said, we're up to 28 points 
with the Iguain brothers. We are in first place with the Iguain brothers. The Bender brothers are in second with 14, and that is going to wrap it up. Now, Federico, outside of uh, outside of the assists, I would say was not a good finisher by any means, especially in that first match. But as the matches progressed, as we got in the second and third match, the the formula seemed to be supply Gonzalo Iguain, even though that's not what we were actively doing with the assists. And then Gonzalo is not going to miss. But like I said, boys, that is going to wrap up the FIFA Family Feud episode of number two. Let me know in the comments which of the brothers or cousins or whatever father and son you guys would like to see for episode number three. The top voted comment is going to be the one that I am going to do for episode number three. But anyway, boys, if you guys are enjoying the series, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Instagram and Twitter links are there if you guys want to interact with me there. But I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Adieu.